Hi there, and welcome to our new tutorial on Blender 2.8. And Blender 2.8's been out for a little while now, but um, I have a bunch of tutorials in 2.79. If you're familiar with those, you should be right at home with uh, with Blender 2.8. So we're just going to quickly run through a, a real beginner tutorial and uh, have a little look at the interface and how things work. So if you press the middle mouse button down, you'll see you can orbit around uh, your 3D view as soon as you've opened um, up. Um, if you're not sure what I'm doing, you'll see I've got screencast keys set down the bottom left hand side, so you'll be able to see what buttons I'm pressing as I do them. Um, the good thing about Blender 2.8 now is that the a lot of the things that you used to have to know shortcuts for are now uh, are now visible um, on the screen. So the middle mouse button was quite a common one, but if you uh, look at the top right hand side now, the, the views, uh, they have the view widget here, which is really awesome. If you click on the view widget, you can actually orbit around, um, if you click and drag, and you'll see that you're, you're, you're orbiting around and this changes as well. If you need to look at any specific angle, um, rather than the keyboard shortcuts you used to have on your number pad, you can now just click on any one of these and it will automatically send your camera into that particular position um, and again just clicking and dragging on it will give you uh, control back again um, the other buttons that you used to have to have shortcut keys for are also down here so we've got the the zoom in and out and you can do that with the scroll wheel if you want to and um, we've got the pan view which um, you just click and drag and you can pan the view around you used to have to do that with um, shift and the middle mouse and that still works um, we've also got the camera view, um, which was number pad zero. Um, you, again, number pad zero still works if you press, oh, sorry if I'm over the right one, you press number pad zero it still works, but it's here. And then the orthographic and, uh, and, and perspective views, you can click on the, the little grid looking thing over here and it shows you the grid changes so you can see it. So that was the number pad five. And again, they still work to keep things nice and consistent. Um, so you do get used to it. If you hover over any of these as well, you'll see that the, uh, it tells you what the shortcut key is. And if you do find yourself using it a lot, you should probably try and remember what the key is so that you can jump to it. Um, the uh, awesome news is as well is that the left click is now selecting things. So if you left click on something, you will select it. And obviously that was a, a big problem when you're learning. Um, software like Blender because it used to be the right click and that was a pain in the butt. So we're going to, uh, it's really a, a, a cool change now that we can use left click to select. So um, the other thing is the, the transform. So we're just going to stay in object mode right now. We've got we've got some different layouts for doing different things and we're going to start with this, this initial layout here and just work a little bit on object mode to begin with. So we're going to um, just make a snowman. Um, we've got the um, the the different tool the selected tool that you're on up on the left hand side here these are really handy um you can select things with a box because we're on this uh, initially you start with this if you click and hold you'll see that you can get different options so you can choose to use circle or lasso select and again you can see what the shortcut key is for these if you wanted to use them or if you find yourself using them a lot so by default it's just that uh, the default box um, the 3D cursor used to be a pain as well, and now the, it's hidden away in here. So we don't. Add, it will not come. Uh, not cover that too much. We don't really need to. But we've got um, the uh, transform, the move tool here, and if you click on that, you'll see that you get the arrows as before, as before, and uh, where you can move this box around. Um, you can click on any of them and move them around, and you'll also see that you have these small little boxes, these planes. And that means you can move two at the same time. So if you click on this blue one here, it's moving across the green and the red, the X and the, and the Y. So um, you have a little bit more control over it. Um, the shortcut key you can see for this one is G. So um, if you click on G, you'll move it. And what you're doing here, though, is you're moving it relative to your view. So it's moved up um, because I was sort of slightly at an angle and I pressed G and move it around. So if you do want to control which direction you're moving in, you can do that. Um, the other method of controlling the way you move things in is if you press G and you need to restrict. Um, it's probably worth talking about this right now. Um, the, the context toolbar down the bottom here, where my mouse is right now, is awesome and it tells you all the potential things that you can do in the current context that you are. So if I've pressed G, you'll see that it suddenly changes um, and more text comes up to tell me uh, the other things that I can do. So it, I've, it can tell me here that I can press X and that will restrict me to the X axis. 
if I press Y, it restricts to the Y. If I press Z, it restricts to the Z. So this context help is amazingly useful. Um, uh, Shift Z means I can move in everything but the Z. Um, and anytime you're doing anything in Blender, this makes it so much more easy to learn because you can try something and you'll be given extra help down the bottom here, which makes it really useful for, for learning uh, this software. Um, we've obviously got the rotate one as well. So the rotate tool, again, you can just click on one of the axes to move on a particular axis and you click on the outer one and you'll move it relative to your current view. Um, the one that isn't there but is con common around pretty much every software is Control Z. So Control Z will undo uh, the last action and it's got a limit to how many it'll undo, but it, it's there. So um, yeah, Control Z for that one. Um, I've accidentally gone into sculpt mode because I pressed um, press Z. So um, yeah, so object mode. So I've, I've done a little bit about the interface. Um, you should have a little explore um, just now. I'm going to quit this video for now. And um, we're going to see how we go uh, making a snowman in our next video.